but this I think is the real money winner and it comes down to publicly listed companies and what people can get into as far as the stock market because let's be honest stock markets gonna it's gonna bomb this year I think there's gonna be a lot of problems we can't keep up this this breakneck speed but with cryptocurrency coming along, I think people can find an outlet. So public list of Bitcoin mining operations, see shares skyrocket. Riot blockchain market cap reaches 1 billion. And I had heard about Riot from the guys over there at Market Rebellion. And they were talking about this when I was on their show with Alex Mascioli on his channel. And they kept talking about Riot, 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 Riot. And I was like, I don't know what you guys are talking about, as usual, because usually what they're talking about goes over my head. But uh, with this one, I'm like, what is so big about this? I'm like, oh, well, man, it's like, you know, it's like a mining company and they're doing really great and people are going to buy a bunch of stocks. I'm like, yeah, sure whatever. And sure enough, they're right yet again. So this is what's happened. The US based firm Riot Blockchain's market valuation recently attained a 1 billion capitalization. That's not easy to do. And here they are doing it in a very short amount of time. A number of other Bitcoin mining business operations have seen colossal demand for company shares. The company has recently captured a 1 billion market cap after trading for three bucks, around three bucks in November which is just, you know, a month away, shares climbed, oh, 3x, and are now trading above the $15 range of December 29th. So imagine you're in the traditional market. You don't know anything about cryptocurrency. You have no idea. Like, that's stupid. But a lot of people are buying into this thing, so I'm going to get into it. And you buy in at $3.47, and within a month, you're at 15 bucks. 15 bucks. That's insane. In the traditional market, you would have lost your mind. Of course, here, it's like a Tuesday, so nobody cares. But for this one, I mean, fantastic. And this is what I'm talking about as far as making big strides. So I think that moving forward, there can be a lot of different companies that people can actually get into, but not be into cryptocurrency. So Riot's not the only publicly traded listed Bitcoin mining operation that has seen shares swell immensely in value. On December 11th, Hut 8 shares, I guess the same type of thing, were swapping for a buck 46 per unit and have increased 154% to 371. And this one is the one that uh, my friend George told me about months ago, Mara. And I have been investing into this through Robinhood. I've been dollar cost averaging, just like I do with the cryptocurrency. I've been putting 25 bucks a day and it's been pretty great. So the public listed firm Marathon Patent Group Mara has seen shares jump in value by over 156% since December 11th when shares were swapping for 463. I remember those prices. The time of publication of Marathon's shares are trading for 1187. Marathon is another firm that just recently announced the largest acquisition of next generation miners when it settled a deal with Bitmain to buy 70,000 ant miners for 170 million. This is great news. And uh, when my friend George told me about it, I'm like, uh, I don't really deal with stocks. I buy Amazon and I buy Tesla. That's pretty much about it. Cause that's, I believe in both of those and I have a business on Amazon, so why not? But when he talk, talked about this, I'm like, that makes sense. And it just made sense to me. And uh, I'm gonna link these, uh, the description of this company in uh, underneath this video. But I mean, They've got a pretty a lot of good branches. They're based on Nevada. They're probably incorporated over there. They're also in Quebec, and they have a, a stable farm in South Dakota, probably because it's cold. And it uh, looks like a pretty good one. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling you this is what I do, and this is what I invested into. So Riot or Marathon, sure. But I just see this as a, as a great opportunity for people to really get exposure to crypto without doing crypto. And I think it's going to be big. But there was one more thing that I thought about, which was there's a company called Layer One. And Layer One is here out in West Texas where I'm at. And they are doing a ton of Bitcoin farming or Bitcoin mining. And uh, Peter Thiel is the background. I want to know just what the heck is going on with him. And I saw some pretty bummer of a news. Uh, the CEO of Bitcoin mining startup Layer One resigns in a settlement replaced by ex-president. I'll link this as well, but it got a little ugly between uh, the top brass. And that is the problem, I think, with some of these companies is that people get in the way of the company. And I think it was the, the most genius aspect of Satoshi Nakamoto just to disappear, even if he's alive. And I will just tell you this, because he is not around, uh, everything works great for Bitcoin. If, if that guy was revealed himself, it's like, hey, it's Pete, I'm the Satoshi. I'm like, ah, oh, that sucks because now we know the guy and they can go to the guy and they can you know, probably even like sue. So, but that guy doesn't exist. And it's, it was just a genius move. So 
when you know you have something like this, and then you also have something like with Ripple, and they do all their whatever they're doing. Watch Blockchain Backers video if you want to learn uh, a little bit more in the insights of that case. He breaks it down beautifully. Um, I think people get in the way with Satoshi just disappearing. Great. Now we don't have all these issues that you see in all these companies. So anyhow, that's it for that. So let me know what you think in the comment section. And off to our next piece. <music>